So, my clutch pulley on my alternator is not working. It needs to be replaced. Uh, on the TDI, this is a 2001 TDI, it alternator is tucked down in here. There's no way of really reaching this area where the clutch pulley is because it's way down there. Uh, without getting into all the different ways people have said you can do this, I mean you can pull out the alternator, you can remove all this stuff, and but on this model that doesn't even work. Uh, you can saw somebody lift up an engine, you know, undo one of the engine mounts and push the engine up, but all of that just seems crazy. Alright, so this is my solution for getting the clutch pulley off the alternator. So, uh, the thing that is getting in the way is the frame. And the frame at this point in the car is pretty much not doing anything but holding the bumper on. And uh, I figured I would just create an access port for this tool here uh, by just drilling a couple of holes in the frame. So I came down here, removed the wheel, removed the wheel, removed the shroud here. It's, I drilled a half inch and then I drilled an eighth inch hole on this side which then allows it to access the clutch pulley and remove it. In line with the clutch pulley which is right there. As you can see, there's enough room if you can loosen it up to pull it out. So this is what I used to remove the uh, alternator clutch pulley. I have the tool. Of course that fits in there like that. I used a breaker bar, half inch breaker bar, to uh, hold it in place. And then I used this big crescent wrench on the uh, on the little nut here, uh, but it would take a 17 millimeter uh, wrench. This was just not long enough to give me the leverage I needed. This thing, this thing made it pretty darn easy. Um, and to loosen this, you you need to turn uh, you need to turn this counterclockwise to loosen lefty loosey and tighten it right, same old, and that's not reverse threads or anything. Uh, so, this is what I used. So, let's remove it. First thing I have to do is use a 16 millimeter on the tensioner there, push that back and remove the belt, and then I'll be able to insert the tool through the frame, remove the clutch pulley, put the new one back on, put the belt back on. Easy, easy. So you're going to need a 16 millimeter socket to uh, loosen the belt. And uh, you loosen it by the long, no, you loosen it by turning it clockwise, but the longer this thing is, the easier it's going to be. It's kind of hard. It's a lot of tension on it. Basically pushing it toward the back of the car this way. Moves that out of the way and loosens up the belt. And then you're able to pull it off. So again, that's a 16 millimeter. There we go. Not in bad shape at all. 
I have a new one for it. I guess I'll just replace it. Once the belt's off, pop the cap on the clutch pulley there. So now this thing just inserts through here. You can engage it. So with that side in, you can insert the tool and engage it, twisting it a little bit. With the uh, tool, tool in place, I'm finding it easier to use a large crescent wrench. I guess if I had a large enough 17 millimeter wrench, I'd use that, but this thing this thing's a bit of a beast. It's got some good leverage on it, so I'm using that to go ahead and remove the tool. You can see here where the clutch pulley screws on, right on that, those threads. I do not know a lot about clutch pulleys, but this thing turns very easily. And the new clutch pulley, this thing doesn't turn at all. Uh, so this is the new one, and it just is a matter of putting it back up in there, put it on the threads, and, and uh, tightening the clutch pulley onto the threads. There are the threads. And I just need to come up here and just thread it on. Thought about putting some uh, anti seize on it, which may not be a bad idea. I might actually go ahead and do that. There we go. Turning this thing on. No way to show you what I'm doing, but I'm basically just threading it on. Threading it on. And then I'll tighten it up with the tool. With the uh, tool, tool in place, I'm finding it easier to use a large crescent wrench. I guess if I had a large enough 17 millimeter wrench, I'd use that. But this thing, this thing's a bit of a beast. It's got some good leverage on it, so I'm using that to tighten it up. And uh, with it tightened, I'll go ahead and remove the tool. And then just replace the cap. Voila, put the belt back on and back in business. And this is the diagram for the uh, belt on a TD on a TDI 2001. It may fit other models as well, I don't know, but this is how it looks on the uh, 2001 TDI. Put the belt back on and you're good to go.